everyone. So today we are continuing on our Halloween decorating extravaganza. Today we are decorating the dining room together. We're gonna hang out, decorate. I'm just excited to have my spooky dining room put together this year. I can do some spooky dining in there throughout the season. Speaking of spooky dining, before we start decorating the dining room for Halloween, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video, which is Factor. And I'm so excited to be jabbing my jaws about Factor today because they have been such a lifesaver in this household. The sleep deprivation, and just in general, this, this time of year. I love fall, it's my favorite season, but I feel like it is one of the busiest seasons. I barely know what day it is, let alone what I'm having for dinner. <laughs> so enter Factor. If you haven't heard of Factor before, Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. So if the fall season also gets super busy in your house, Factor has fast, tasty meals to fit your lifestyle. They have anything from keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan and veggie options, which is what I got. But their meals include seafood, meats, and plant-based options. And the Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in just a few minutes, which is perfect for busy lifestyles or if you're like me and you're sleep deprived. We are hanging on by a thread over here with a new baby and a 17-year-old chihuahua just can't muster up the energy to go to the grocery store or cook a meal. And Factor is just so convenient. I feel like that's the best part of all. Just arrive straight to your door, you unbox it, your meals are fresh, they're not frozen, so you put them straight in the fridge, and then you heat them up when you're ready. You can choose how many meals you want, so you can adjust accordingly if you need meals every single night, if you need to add breakfast, whatever you need to do. I feel like Factor is super flexible. Factor also has some other nutritious options like smoothies and juices. Anyways, if you're wanting to try Factor, you know I got a steal of a deal for you. You can head to factor75.com or click my link down in the description box and use code Libra50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. It is a steal of a deal. So definitely check out Factor if you've been looking for something like this, which I have been, and I wish I would have had this when we brought Lucian home. It would have been a huge lifesaver. We were in over our heads to say the least. So anyways, if you want to see how we decorated the dining room, we're going to be hanging out together, doing a whole classic decorate with me. Let's jump into this. Here we go. All right, hey everyone. We're here in my dining room. We're getting ready to decorate this space. So I figure we do a little nighttime decorating uh, since... I really want my house nice. Like, there's nothing better. I don't know if anyone else feels this way. Okay, I'm gonna clear off the table as we're talking. But there's nothing better to me than a nice, clean, decorated home. I love it so much. Like during any holiday, Halloween and beyond, uh, I just love when my house is decorated and nice and clean. And especially once fall gets here and the crisp air gets here. We're having some cooler mornings, but for the most part, it's still freaking hot. It's like in the 80s. Like, and some of you out there might be like, 80s, that's like fall here. But no, that's still summer. So anyways, I like having a nice, clean, decorated home. There's no better feeling. And that nice, fresh, crisp air will be coming in. And oh my gosh, I just can't wait. So, so I really, really, really want to be decorated by October 1st. That's the goal. And I wanted it done sooner than that. You know I did. But it's just been the last, I would say, month has been maybe month and a half has been on another level of <laughs> chaos, not just chaos, just sleeplessness. Are we getting a good visual? Hopefully you can see what's going on. And I'm putting this spider web tablecloth on. Oh, did I talk about what we're doing? What theme we're doing in here? I don't think I did. <laughs> but we're doing a full on witchy theme in here. I can't decide if I wanna do like, I don't know, a like a mossy mushroom kind of witch. I don't know what, what you call that, like a cottage witch. Or if I wanna do dark, you know, like my usual dark aesthetic witch stuff. Oh, we have orange juice here with us. Someone has decided to join the party. <laughs> I'm gonna move him temporarily. So I don't know if I'm doing a dark aesthetic witch or a cottage witch or a combination of the two. Could be both. So anyways, I don't, I don't know what I was talking about. I don't even know what planet I'm on right now, but I'm thinking that this is the tablecloth we're doing. We're playing around with some stuff. This is like a little bit of a weird, it like barely fits. Somehow I can't find the box with all my creepy cogs. So luckily, I know it's somewhere, I just gotta find it. So luckily though, I have a bunch that I got from Dollar Tree this year. Dollar Tree never fails me. Anyways, how are you doing? How's your Halloween season going? 
I'm sure, I feel like everyone, well, you know what? I was gonna say, I feel like everyone and their literal mom is decorated right now, but you know what? My mom who has her Halloween party every year and goes all out with her Halloween decorating, she's not even decorated yet. I think she's decorating this weekend. So uh, I feel less bad. Okay, I also thought on the table instead of, well, let, let's try this first. Let me see, I have my little phone here, as amusing as my monitor. So I have this witch house that I got from, it's like a replica of the Salem Witch House, basically. I got this from the Target Threshold line, but I love this thing. And I don't know if this is where it's gonna go, but I thought it'd make a really cool centerpiece. And um, I don't know, we're gonna try it out. So I thought on either side of the Witch House, there's nothing more appropriate than this Wraith Witch that we got from Cracker Barrel this year. And I got two of them, let me. This is one of my favorite pieces this year, 2023. I'd say these Wraith Witches and the At Home, well actually this too, I really like this Witch House from Target. And then the Vulture and the Raven pedestal looking things from At Home this year, if you saw those. Those are my favorite pieces this year. Um, I don't know, there's something about it. And of course, basically everything at Home Goods. Uh, but let me know down in the comments. Let me know what's your favorite Halloween find this year, or maybe you didn't find it, because some of the stuff I didn't find either, but I saw it on the Facebook group, or I saw it out there floating around, I'm like, dang it, like on social media or whatever, and I didn't get my hands on it. But let me know your favorite Halloween piece of 2023, whether you got it or you didn't. Let me know down in the comments. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this, or if I want to add some of this mossy stuff. What do you think, mossy stuff or no? The thing that sucks about this mossy stuff is it gets caught in the spiderweb tablecloth. And I don't know if it goes with our plates and stuff, but I don't know that it doesn't either. You know what I mean? So I feel like I have enough to wrap around completely. Is it covering the house too much? I don't know, let's try this. I kind of like the green accent. I think it's really cool. Actually, I think it pops with the black and it's something different because I went with monochromatic in my, well, you haven't seen my mantle yet. Maybe I'm just trying to convince myself that this is what I'm doing. And I don't, what am I even doing? I don't even know. I don't know what else I'm putting in. Great. We're getting all stuck. Okay, let me see. What do you think? Do you like this? I think it's kind of cool. Like a foresty like a foresty witch, but still kind of folky. Look at the witches. Let me zoom in. How the witches are in this mossy kind of stuff. I feel like they're kind of floating through it. That pink cabinet is such a distraction in the background. I really want to paint that black so badly, but I just never do. It goes with the painting above it. That's why I went with pink, but it just bothers me. You know it does. So I have these candelabras and I wanted to incorporate some sort of candelabra situation because I want candles happening. But I don't know, do I need to scoot this out a little bit? And then now I feel like we're messing with the moss. Okay, I actually kind of like that. I love these candelabras, by the way, from Target last year. They're threshold line once again. And they're really nice. I really like this. I am loving the black with the pop of green, and I'm gonna do a fully set table this year. I don't even know that I set my table last year. Did I even do my dining room? I don't think I did. The, the truth of the matter is last year. <laughs> uh, <sighs> well, first of all, I always feel like every single year, once August hits, everything just flies by. Like you blink and it's October. Uh, but last year I had just found out I was pregnant and I was not feeling the greatest. And so I was so behind on everything, decorating and everything because I just was not feeling well. What is this? A nail? This is a long lost stick on nail from the pandemic, everybody. <laughs> when I got desperate and started sticking on my nails and they would fall off everywhere. Uh, so that's kind of what happened last year. If you watched some of those videos back last year, you may see me looking a little green <laughs> or just not myself. And that's what happened. So, so yeah, basically last year and this year are two Halloween seasons that have had major changes, like the biggest life changes ever in my entire life, like two Halloween seasons in a row. So, but I feel like we're, we're doing okay. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. 
Okay, I'm gonna get off these dishes. And I wanted to do, I wanted to use my witchy dishes that I got last year. And this is why I wanted to do a whole witchy theme in here because I have these plates and I love them so much and I haven't displayed them yet. Wait, let me show you. See, this one has the witch in front of her fireplace with her cauldron. Here are the witchy plates, the bigger ones. So it has three witches in front of this house with a ghosty and like branchy trees and the whole spooky scenery. Wait, what am I using for a placemat? I don't even know why we put that one creepy cloth down because we can't even see it. But I thought about doing creepy cloths. Actually, you know what would look really cool? Some moss around it. But I don't know, does that look kind of cool or does it just look weird? I don't know. But we don't have any more of this moss. I have the other moss that has the spiders in it, but I kind of wanted to do this. Is that a good visual? Can you see it? So I was thinking that I have an idea after we get all these set. We move on to this little cabinet over here. I like to throw a creepy cloth or maybe two over this just to kind of make it look a little spookier and a little more aesthetic. So I'm just gonna take this black creepy cloth and kind of drape it over like so. Maybe a little more. Do I have a bigger one than this? I don't know. We can start here. I have this sign, where's my, where are my scissors? I have this sign that says witch house on it. We can put either that in the center or we can put it on the side. What else do I have though? I thought there was something else I wanted. We have, we have this little crow and skull guy with the moss that I got from Old Time Pottery this year. Maybe we'll put that there and then do a little, do we want the mushrooms, like mushrooms and potion bottles? Potentially. Do a little. No, I think I just want bottles. There's this cute little cauldron. Okay, wait, wait. Let's get something on the other side. Look at this. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Change of plans. I totally forgot about these moon candle things. They're like moon candle pedestals. Got these from Joann's. They had them again this year. You can probably still find them online. If I can find them, I'll link them. Uh, but these are the coolest moon can't like they have little candle holders inside and then we can do this what do you think and then just kind of add little things here and there do you like that i don't know i know you can't really see the moon because of the frame but you can see it in person i feel like and then we can do apothecary bottles everywhere all right, I'm just gonna bring a bunch of these bottles over and just start putting them places and then we can adjust accordingly. I don't know what we're doing with this, if we want that or not. Putting bottles everywhere. I thought about putting these cloches on either side. Got these from Target when they had that really, really cool line and like that I'll never get over. Their gothic line and I think it was like 2017, 2018, I'll never forget it. Yes. And I think it'll go, it'll work with a bunch of the bottles because they're glass. More bottles. Right. Placing more bottles everywhere. This back here. Just putting all the bottles everywhere. All right, more bottles. I kind of want to swap. I want the green. Wait, let's do this. Because there's green over here. We can do that. All right, that works for now. Oh shoot, I forgot about these candles. Okay, almost in these. In the. Oh, this is going to be too big. Dang it. Which candles from at home this year, if I can get them to work. I desperately want these to work. Kind of got to smash them in there. That doesn't make me the most excited, but I'm not that mad at it either. I don't even know if they go, but... Okay, we'll leave that there for now. I'm leaving it. We're not touching it. I like it. Whoa! See, that's exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. 
All right, everyone, we're back. Day two of decorating this spooky, witchy dining room. We are back and we're just making some finishing touches today. So I wanted to add a couple of last minute pieces and then some lighting elements. So little faux candles and just a couple fairy lights that kind of thing so and then i'll show it all lit up at night at the very end of this video so um anyways we're gonna just finish up this dining room i'm all excited because well, let me let me tell you yesterday i was out and about went to my grandma's house because my grandma wait am i even in the visual let me, let me move back over here can i get comfortable or what what's happening these legs were not made for this okay anyways yesterday i went to my grandma's house and she had these glasses that she was wanting to give me. She was like, these are perfect for your Halloween table. Your grandpa and I wanted you to have these. And my grandpa has since passed away, so they're even more meaningful. Uh, but she was like, we knew you had to have these for your Halloween table. And they are perfect for this year's table. I am so excited about these. So we're going to add these. They are going to go perfect with the place settings. Look at these wine glasses with the spider webs and the spider. You know this is an all year round glass for me. Like I'll use this all year round. So thank you so much, Grandma, if you're watching. Uh, but my grandma used them. Um, she used the smaller one, like the white wine glass for a water glass and then the bigger red wine glass for a wine glass. I can maybe scoot them out just a little bit more. And the way I'm setting the wine glasses, I kind of want them to, what did I do, like this? I kind of want them to be part of the centerpiece almost. I don't know, how do you feel about that? Let me zoom out. What does that look like? I think I love this. And I feel like the glasses just add a little something to where it doesn't just look like plates on a random table. You know, it looks like people are actually eating here or having a spooky dining experience here, which is what I want. I don't have my napkins. I have no idea what I did with them. So my napkins and my napkin holders are MIA, but we'll find them eventually, hopefully. I also wanted to do another little finishing touch, something spooky. All right, so I found these, I forgot I had these almost. They're these kind of, they're supposed to be mounted on the wall and then it's kind of like hands coming out of the wall. Got these, I believe from Oriental Trading Company, but they could be from Grand and Road. They both have them, but I'm, I believe they're from Oriental Trading Company. Anyways, I was wanting to zoom you in. Okay, so with these, I was thinking I could kind of take, oh, I'm gonna move these out of the way. I was thinking I could kind of tuck the hand into the moss a little bit and then have the hand coming out and kind of grabbing onto the plate i don't know how does that look does that look cool i don't know how do we feel about it i think it looks kind of cool but it's kind of a witchy hand so i feel like it goes so this one i feel like needs to come from the deep abyss over here like coming from a different area how do we feel about it we like the witching hand. I feel like it adds something. Okay, so one year we did this fun little thing with our wine glasses where I took some fake spider web stuff and I kinda, well, first of all, I put, where's my, I put some twinkle lights in the glass. I have these green ones. So I put them in the glass. We'll see if this works. And it'll kinda glow out the top. There's also, you can also kind of see inside. That looks really cool. Okay, so I have these kind of fairy looking lights, right? And then I take this faux spiderweb situation and I put it in and it kind of makes it look like smoke coming out. You kind of gotta make it look kind of like smoke. But the effect is so cool and I think it makes it a little bit more like Halloween. I don't know how to describe it, but it makes it a little more, just a little more magical. And this one I think I might have drape over, like the smoke is kind of billowing over. I don't know, I think it looks like smoke. To me it does. Okay, so then over here in the witch house area, this is where we put the little, we did a whole little apothecary area. I am kind of unsure about this witch house sign here. I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't really go. But it does, but it doesn't. I don't know. So I thought about putting these toads. I got these toads from at home this year. I thought about putting them on either side. And I'm also undecided about the candles that were in here. Do I want candles or do I want twinkle lights in there? Or these little, I have these votive lights that can go in here. Just something more subtle. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about those in there. 
Like I almost just think it needs like a load of candle in there and that's it. Cause I like the crescent moon thing and I feel like it goes, I feel like these candles don't really go. All right, so that is it. We are officially done decorating my dining room. I'll show all the visuals in the daytime and nighttime so you can see what it looks like lit up. But I'm loving this witchy theme this year. And thank you so much for decorating with me today. I hope you had fun helping me out and once again, helping me make some spooky decisions. If you did, you can give this a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know i love talking to you and yeah anything else you want to jab your jaws about down in the comments if you're ready for october if you've been having an amazing september or an amazing fall so far you tell them lucian you tell them say happy almost october lucian yeah, that's right <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time